plant-based milks are generally much more expensive in the store than dairy. I guess that's why people don't seek out alternative options. But you know what? You can make your own plant-based milk at home, anytime, anywhere, like it's that simple. Hey there YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. You are watching yet another episode of Food is Medicine with me. This is where I bring you the lowdown, this is where I bring you all the files about healthy plant-based eating and why you out there should start considering incorporating a plant-based diet in your life. So guys, today's topic is about alternative milk and in today's segment, show you exactly how to make your own plant-based milk in under two minutes good morning, life. Good morning, sun. How are you? You it's as quick as that no hassle no fuss it's quick and most importantly it is healthy so I know a lot of you are wondering uh, why should we actually make the switch I mean we've been drinking dairy all our lives this is where I come in and as I said before this segment is to really encourage people to start doing their own research and know exactly what is going into their food don't just eat something or do something because you grew up doing it be more conscious be more aware of what you're eating and what you are feeding your body so let me just tell you why I stopped drinking dairy So as I said before, I had been researching about so many things when I came across plant-based eating that was in 2019 and uh, of course it's an ongoing process because you know we live and learn every day. So after reading up about milk, this is exactly what I found out. Did you know that milk and dairy products including cheese are one of the top saturated fat products? Saturated fat for people that don't know at home is not a good fat. Saturated fat has been linked to heart disease. Saturated fat has the ability to clog up the arteries. Okay, and when they clogged up, it means that blood cannot flow. So you can already see where this is going. Another reason, and this one is most popular, people keep on hearing the word lactose intolerant, right? Lactose intolerant. What is lactose intolerant? Well, it's exactly what it says that you are intolerant to lactose, which is found within dairy products and milk. Symptoms of lactose intolerance would include stomach ache, diarrhea, like gas. Let's say that a good is it 80 percent of people on earth are lactose intolerant, meaning we're not even supposed to be drinking milk that comes from a cow. So, the third reason that I quit dairy is and this is what shocked me the most because all my life they've always told us that milk is great for bone health milk gives you stronger bones and stronger teeth isn't that what we grew up hearing well guess what after doing my research i actually found out that there has been no correlation whatsoever between bone health and milk who so who's been lying to us and why do we keep on consuming milk why do we keep on consuming milk products? Do your own research, people. One more interesting concern that I found about consuming dairy and milk products was that there was a high correlation between cancer and dairy products, especially prostate cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, ovarian cancer were very high, and especially in people that are lactose intolerant. And remember, that is about roughly 80% of the whole world. So if I were you, I would start considering plant-based options today. Without further ado, let me show you how simple it is. So I'm going to show you how to make two plant-based milk alternatives. One with almonds and one with oats for those people that are allergic to nuts. You're also going to need a high-powered food processor or blender. You're also going to need a bowl or glass jar, a nut bag and a strainer. 
So for the oats, you're going to have to soak it overnight to deactivate the enzymes and make it ready for processing. Drain out all the excess water using your strainer and the excess bowl. Make sure all the water is drained out. After draining the excess water, you can then transfer your oats into your blender or food processor and then just simply add water. I used about a full cup of water because I wanted my oat milk to be thick. Remember, the more water you use, the more dilute the milk will become. So it is totally up to you. So for this part of the process, you're going to either need a nut bag or a strainer. Both work perfectly fine. So I simply just transferred my milk mixture onto the strainer and let all that milk goodness drain out onto my bowl. This part of the process is extremely important as the strainer makes sure that all the unwanted and fine particles stay behind and all you are getting is just pure, clean, authentic, unsweetened oat milk. Now we are going to be making our almond milk. Remember to soak your almonds overnight. This just makes them easier to process. And then you're just going to simply transfer your almonds into your food processor or blender component. And of course, the next step is to just simply add water. I didn't add a lot of water here as I was just simply making my almond milk for drinking purposes. This is the part where you're going to need a nut bag. I just generally found that a nut bag works much better than a strainer for this part. Pour the mixture from your blender into the nut bag. Now you're gonna have to get your hands a little dirty over here as you're gonna have to use your hands to physically milk the milk <laughs> out of the nut bag. And voila, there you have it, unsweetened almond milk. it from me your host Natasha I hope you really like this segment and that of course you took something from it you learned something from it there's something there's a revolution happening within yourself don't forget to like comment and subscribe on my channel remember if you already subscribed to my channel just click the notification bell otherwise you you won't get updates on what I'm actually doing engage with me comment in the commentary section down below because I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think. I want to know if you have actually, you know, tried uh, alternative milk before. How was it? Was good or bad? And I also want to know if you've tried what I have taught you today and how it went for you. Remember that eating well is a form of self-respect. So, respect yourself. Goodbye.